So we talked about this yesterday with our Learn Plan Profit group, and now it's time to update you guys on YouTube. What's going on, guys? It's Ricky with TechBud Solutions. Just wanted to update you guys on SQQQ. I have a pretty light position right now. I just sold most of my position uh, during our live trading session. I trade live every morning with our LPP team. Yesterday, I sent an announcement to our Learn Plan Profit traders. TQQQ had an amazing day. I congratulated everyone. I made $4,700 myself. I was very grateful. With that being said, the NASDAQ market went up, near, uh, TQQQ went up nearly, there's a 7%, 7.23% movement in just a couple of hours. With that being said, why? Why did it go up? Was it because things were getting better? Was it because they were getting less worse? No, uh, it was two things, right? People began talking about like, hey, this might be the potential peak of inflation. Correct, right? We talked about that the day before. We were aware of that. But with that being said, a 7% movement for TQQQ is pretty significant. I really began to kind of scratch my head and be like, yo, you know, like things aren't necessarily getting better or anything like that, right? There's the forecast of Q2 earnings that are looking positive. I think that's great. But I mean, that's a lot to factor in into the market. I viewed it simply as an overreaction. So what I did is because I wanted to hold myself accountable is you know, we've been killing it. You guys have seen my days, right? I've had $10,000 days, $16,000 days, $19,000 days, right? Even yesterday, 4,700. Very grateful for it. But I need to keep a level head, right? That, that's our job as traders is that every day presents new challenges and we need to be aware of how the market is adjusted. And when I began to look at the market, first I began to ask myself, was like yesterday an overreaction for the NASDAQ market? And then everything that I was looking at kind of confirmed that that we've seen TQQQ sell off. And every time that it approaches this moving average, it gets rejected. It pushes up and then it gets rejected. Yesterday it pushed up, one day gets rejected. We talked about that yesterday. We traded it, did it during today's live trading session. And I'm so grateful that we at least let our Learn Plan Profit traders know in advance, right? That the market did overreact yesterday. It factored in a lot of things about Q2 and the peak of potential inflation. And with that being said, what do we always say? An overreaction or, or most reactions tend to be an overreaction in the stock market. So that is why I began to really focus and double down on SQQQ today. And I'm very grateful that I did because now this is the one that's bullish. And I'm just getting started. Market opened less than an hour ago. And I'm up $600 on the day. Not bad, right? And that's kind of like the question that, you know, you begin to have to, that you have to ask yourself is, you know, did you prepare for this? Were you aware that TQQQ was approaching the moving average on, you know, the 30 minute time frame, even on the 15 minute time frame? One thing that you should be aware of is that, you know, we, we were still, we did not surpass the previous resistance level at $51. We kind of flatlined and then we began to curl below. Did you see that happen? And then on top of that, on the one hour time frame, if I'm not mistaken, I'm sorry, the four hour time frame, yesterday's rejection came off of the EMA line. So let me go ahead and, and so you guys can look a little bit closer. Yesterday when we pushed up, we got rejected off of this EMA. It's like, it's a, it's a perfect rejection. Yet people were getting so excited yesterday. If you guys follow me on Instagram, I even sent an announcement there after I talked to our Learn Plan Profit team. And this was still during our, our aftermarket session. I mean, you could have still executed your trades if you wanted to, if you wanted to play it safe, which a lot of people don't like to do. I don't know about you, right? Are you in the market to try to play it super risky? That's you. I'm not, right? That's not the way that I trade. I wanted to play it safe. I locked in my entire profits of TQQQ. I left myself with my uh, infamous one share, right? And I prepared. I prepared for SQQQ. I knew that that's where the market was most likely going to be going based off of yesterday's market overreaction. And I'm very grateful that I did. And the question that you should ask yourself is like, could you have done this all yourself? 100%, right? You could have done your own due diligence, held yourself accountable as you're just getting started and looked at the four hour time frame. You could have then began to ask yourself, why did the market go up? Dig a little bit deeper, not just listen to all the noise, but to ask yourself, ask yourself, why? Why is this happening? And does it make sense? And I think that's the big question is like, do you hold yourself accountable, not just on your red days, but on your green days? Because anyone on their green days can feel like they're on top of the world. But our job as traders, as every day presents a new challenge, is to remain level-headed. And that's, again, our job within Learn, Plan, Profit. It's to hold you accountable. So if you can do this all on your own and you were aware of this, you're right. You know, you probably don't need me. You could learn all of this on your own, but did you? And again, when people ask, what's the value behind joining your group? Well, I trade live every day. 
would it have been of value to have been aware during today's morning live trading session to have been aware of SQQQ and that market sentiment? Would it have been a, a, like a value for you to see me buy and sell SQQQ to make my $600, right? Would that have been a value for you? Only you can answer that, right? Would it have been a value for you to be in our private Discord group and ask me questions of like, hey, you know, do you think it's a good idea to lock in profits or should I continue to hold, right? It's not about being told what to do, but it's sharing like thorough and having thorough conversations with people that you actually value. So, I mean, we have a free Discord. It's the first link in the description. It's great to network and to connect. But the quality of information that is shared within our private Discord that's included in LPP, it's just different. And you also get access to our HQ, right? Four value pieces. Can you do this all on your own? 100%. But will you do it all on your own? That's on you. Will you be disciplined enough to hold yourself accountable? Are you able enough to be able to trade on your own without my daily live trading sessions every single day at market open? And can you overcome the challenges on your own, the difficult days, the red days, and humble yourself on your own rather than connecting with us on Discord? If you can, I encourage you, wish you nothing but the best. But if you feel like I could be a value for you, wanted to offer you guys the $100 off coupon for our LPP team. It's one of our biggest sales that we offer. It's going to be the first link in the, I'm sorry, the second link in the description of this video, and it's gonna be $100 off LPP. You don't have to sign up. I just told you the exact four values that we offer within LPP. You get access to our A to Z video lesson library that's designed for absolute beginners. You get access to our daily live trading session. You get to access our private Discord chat, and you also get access to our TechBuds Trading HQ located in Chandler, Arizona at 7,000 square feet, 15 offices, and it's available only to our Learn Plan Profit members. That's what you get access to. $100 off, so it's not if it's of value. The question that you should ask yourself is, would you have performed better being plugged into our team and if so if you're ready to get plugged in if you're ready to start trying to take on these challenges on your own i would love to be a value for you so again that's that second link down below so i wish you guys nothing but the best one thing that i do want to make you guys aware that i actually just talked to our learn plan profit team about is that where is tqqq headed well if we click on tqqq and we look at the five minute time frame sorry 15 minute time frame we can see that we have all this way down here to go, right? And almost every single time, if we go on the five minute time frame, almost every single time, it looks like it's trying to find its support here at 48.50. That's actually very impressive. But with SQQQ, you guys can see that it's not far off from where we were just a couple days ago of $40, almost $41. And asking ourselves, hey, is the market sentiment in our favor? Something, something to really begin to ask yourself. We already broke above the moving average. We're waiting for higher highs. And if I get those higher highs, I'm going to turn these 300 shares into 3,000 shares and really begin to step on the gas on SQQQ. So I appreciate you guys' time. I'm excited to uh, follow up with my overall trades. Um, again, if you want to stay connected, all my links are in the description. And um, other than that, I hope and wish you guys an amazing rest of your day. Hope that I earned your thumbs up. Please consider subscribing. And like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take it easy, team.